Alright guys, I wanted to take a look at some of Penn State's defensive end, Yatura Gross Matos. Obviously a guy that fits pretty much all of the Bills archetypes. You're going to see him in most of these clips. Here's number 99. I didn't get through all of his film, but I got through most of it. And I'll just highlight a few of the things that I like. On this play, you see him to the strength of the formation. He's pretty much in a six tech over the tight end. And he just occupies a couple guys there. And that frees up his teammates to make the tackle. Now right here, you're going to see a late shift by the Penn State defense. And on the snap, they have a blown protection by the left tackle here. And you see some of the burst by Gross Matos on that play. Brings him down for the sack. Uh, really nice shift, really late. That's obviously going to confuse uh, college offensive line when it's late like that. And obviously that, that blown protection frees up Matos to bring down the quarterback. So one thing I did notice, on the backside of runs, you see him right here. I didn't like his competitiveness. I didn't like his tenacity or, or ability to chase down the runner from the backside. It kind of looks lackadaisical. I know he's feathering just in case this is his own read, but as soon as that's you know, determined that it's a run, he needs to get on his horse and start running. Right there, he's just striding it out. Doesn't look like he's trying to find the ball here against UB. Okay, so now we're going to see him as an edge rusher here off to the left-hand side. And one thing that you need to pay attention to when you're watching these edge rushers is their ability to kind of turn and run sideways. And what John Owning, uh, Big Dallas uh, Cowboys analyst, he always talks about the karaoke. You know, it's something that we as kids when we are playing football, soccer, all the sports, one of those warm-up drills was the karaoke drill, right? Watch him turn his shoulders and start the karaoke here. You see him pretty much running sideways as he does, as he executes that hand usage, that double-handed swipe. And what that does is when you see that, that tackle kind of square up to him, that's almost like a receiver getting a two-way go. That's kind of like Stefan Diggs, like I talk about setting up a two-way go. This gives the defensive pass rusher a two-way go to continue outside or to continue back inside. He doesn't get to the quarterback, but it's just, it's something to pay attention to when you're watching these rushers because Guys like that can run sideways like that and, and give themselves two-way goes and give themselves options to stay out wide on the speed rush or come back inside and counter. That's something that you know not many people can do or in are taught uh, in college. So uh, he can do it. He's one of those guys that's gonna uh, bend the corner when he's when he is in that karaoke type rush. You see him on outside here again, same uh, same game. Um, and one thing I just love about him is his push pull. He has one of the best push pulls in college football, and it's because of his length. It's because of the way he can generate torque, and he uses his hands independently a lot of those times, like you see here. So let me start from the beginning. So you see him speed rushing up the field, tackle squares perpendicular to the line of scrimmage. So now they're engaging. Now I want you to watch. There's a little slight, and maybe it's a camera angle, but there looks to be just a slight outside edge. So. He maybe sees a soft edge there, and what is he doing? He's pulling with his right hand, and he's pushing with the club of his left hand because he's got a cast on his left hand, but then watch his feet. See how he crosses over? And that is able to generate torque to get by that soft edge. So it's a little independent hand usage, a little karaoke, and that is all in the end. What it's doing is just softening that edge and allowing to get to the quarterback. Of course, the quarterback gets it off here, but here it is in, in real time. So now you'll see him inside against a guard, and they did this a lot, especially on third and longs. And, you know, he is so long and so strong. You see him execute a chop here and then bend the corner uh, to get to the quarterback. Balls out, but uh, his ability to play outside, play inside, use his length, generate that torque. And he's such a powerful guy with his the way he generates torque with his hips, his core. And then, you know, you add in that length, as I said. And he can, he can, you know, soften edges. He can create softer edges with that all used at once. So, okay, here's another play. He's inside, right? This is against UB. He's right here. And now the ball gets out. He's not getting home. Ball gets out. So show me that you can get on your horse and chase. You guys tell me if you think. I mean, look at that. I don't, I don't like that type of effort. So now where he's at edge again right here against Memphis. And this is a, a really nice play by him. Again, kind of showing you the his power, his strength. And I mean, he just sees a soft edge and he almost gets a piece of the ball here. Let's watch it from the beginning. Again, he's on contact, hands are in a decent place. 
now he's pretty much running sideways right and he's able to break down that corner and turn it uh, it's it's nothing too special here but he's coming from a wide alignment that uh, number 11 the linebackers blitzing so the offensive guard and offensive tackle are kind of switching there and, and changing their assignments but he's you know he's long enough he's strong enough to just soften that edge and get by that guard and almost again almost get a piece of that ball right there here it is in real time pretty quick he uses that almost that that touch and go move that Kenny Willickis uh, had discussed with us you know he's not really staying engaged he's not really pushing and grabbing but he's just immediately touching and as soon as those offensive linemen's hands are up he is countering really quick to turn the corner all right so th let's take a look at this play I put a timer on this play when I broke it down a couple weeks ago because they're gonna run a, a stunt a twist a three-man game with Gross Matos to the top of the screen and I want you to pay attention to the timer and just the time it takes for him to get to the quarterback on this three-man game and at times he's almost like it's almost like he's running in quicksand look at him how long it takes for him to get around that corner there um, I mean he doesn't clear the offensive lineman till right around three seconds he does affect the play and get the sack but I just feel like he was kind of running in quicksand there um, you'll see him here um, with a really nice inside move off the left hand side see a jump set by the left tackle and Gross Matos is immediately into that offensive lineman's chest with his hands and then he swats by uh, on the inside move gets a hit on the quarterback really nice transition there I don't know if he was expecting that jump set there but one-on-one -on -one, I mean that type of quickness and hand usage and power to get an inside move an inside line to the quarterback that's exactly what you want to see at the NFL level all right, here's another play from the Memphis game, the Cotton Bowl. You see him as a three-tech on third and long. And watch how he sees a soft edge and he attacks it. So as the offensive linemen are all are sliding right here on the left side, the guard is responsible for this gap right here to his left. And so he, as they're sliding left because it's that's the slide-sided protection, you're going to see them kind of turn their shoulders. So he has a soft edge right here, right? Watch him with his right hand generate power, generate torque right there as he's crossing over with that karaoke, karaoke step and get just a really nice play I love how he turns his shoulders and is able to generate torque with his hips his core add in the hand usage I mean you're gonna be able to create soft edges something that I know a lot of fans don't like Trent Murphy but it's something he does rather well is he's able to create soft edges it's He's not a speed guy. He's not really a power guy. He has to use his hands. He has to use his leverage, his plan to kind of soften that edge and get it around the corner there. And you see that a ton with Gross Matos. Here it is again in slow motion. Again, you creating that torque, creating that soft edge, then flattening as that guy's trying to push him wide, flattening. I mean, he gets a little help from the other side too, but flattening, using that length, grabbing the quarterback and bringing him down. He'll see it here in real time. Just a really, really nice play by Gross Matos and something he does consistently. Here's another example of him doing that karaoke rush and he's going to be doing it from a three tech here and he's going to loop out wide and you'll see how he uses his lateral abilities right there to, to turn the corner and rip. Again, he doesn't get to the quarterback, but watch him loop out wide and as soon as he makes contact, look his eyes, his eyes are on the quarterback. He's got his hands out extended in a really good spot. He's in total control of this offensive lineman right now. Now watch him turn karaoke step right there and then transition to a rip and then try and flatten to the quarterback he doesn't get there but these are the abilities he's bringing day one at the NFL level and if you can get him in some certain situations where he's one-on-one -on -one with a guard with a tackle or in certain pass rushing situations he's gonna create some soft edges with his ability to soften that edge create some torque with his hips and in hands and just you know again affecting the passing play I think he'll be able to do that day one Maybe as more of a spot rusher, maybe not a starter immediately, but he'd be a really good rotational piece to add uh, to the Buffalo Bills defense. Against the run, this is the type of stuff that is really going to translate into the Bills scheme. You're going to see the offense motion at a tight end here, and Gross Matos is right here, heads up over the tight end, six technique. That's right out of the Bills playbook. They like to have their defensive ends right out over the tight ends when they're in these type of packages. Um, you remember Shaq Lawson blowing up tight ends week in and week out. And this is the type of stuff that Gross Matos is going to bring to the Bills defense if drafted. I mean, he just blows this tight end up and eventually blows this play up because there's nowhere for that running back to go. Look at the hands. Look at the pad level and just how he unfurls his hips on contact. 
I mean, this is just too easy for him. He takes the fight to the tight end and totally blows that play up. So that was just a quick rundown of Gross Matos from some of the clips I already cut up from a few weeks ago. I wanted to share some of them with you. Um, not a total breakdown of the player, but you see some of the things that he's going to bring. He's naturally just a big dude. Uh, he uses his length really well. I would like to see him be a little more competitive and not give up on the backside of runs and, you know, recognizing screens a little quicker. There are some things that he needs to work on, but as a rotational piece, if drafted by Buffalo, I mean, there are some really nice things that he does, kind of like this play where he can soften that edge uh, in a karaoke rush and, you know, affect the passer. So that type of stuff is, um, you know, kind of stuff that you can't really teach. So if drafted, he'd be a really nice piece for the Bills as a rotational player for this year and then possibly a starter by year two.